So what is up you guys, Avald Gaming here and welcome to a video and today we're going to be bringing back the Raging Blast 3 hype and I kind of want to, you know, promote and I guess reawaken this whole thing, you know, Trilax made this personal project of his to get Raging Blast 3, you know, created, however, you know, there's no word on anything happening yet, he even showcased it to the producers of the previous games and you know he's just trying to get enough fan support to get this game actually created so what he's actually done so far he's he's done a lot of you know on making the project he's done so many so many things and in the description there's a link to his page please go like it and support it you know we need all the support you know we can get on this it would be amazing to get a game you know Raging Blast 3 with all of the characters that are going to be in super and yeah so what he's done is he's you know designed and created as many things as he could he's actually showcased it to the producers and right now he's just trying to get enough fan support to get this thing made so now i want to talk about why this would be a good idea so we've had xenoverse and xenoverse wasn't the best of games because it's you know it's first i guess game and there's going to be xenoverse 2 eventually down the road but if we can get you know raging blast 3 after xenoverse 2 it would be beautiful because it would give us some variety you know I guess it would keep us busy while they work on Xenoverse 3 I mean it could happen obviously but you know Raging Blast was always a fun series it was pretty fast-paced now I'm probably gonna get some Budokai fanboys in here and that is fine you know I, I want a Budokai you know 4 as well but you know right now we're just trying to focus on Raging Blast 3 I'm gonna make a Budokai 4 video in the future but what he's essentially done is he's created a, he's created the biggest roster that I've ever seen. This would take so long to create. You know, he's got all of the movie characters, he's got the GT characters, he's even included Dragon Ball Super, you know, Resurrection F characters, uh, Battle of God characters, you know, everything. Even all the way from Dragon Ball to, you know, uh, the Dragon Ball Z movies. Now, we need this to happen because if this happened, this game would probably have one of the biggest rosters of all time out of any anime game and the way he's designed this game he's even got his own you know the way he wants the boss battles to work you know he's got the way he wants the explosions to look he's you know done everything perfectly their hearts their with he's even given each individual character every costume that they've ever had and every form that they've ever had and one thing I want to talk about here is if you can imagine all the what if forms we could possibly have in this game since in Raging Blast 2 and Raging Blast we've actually had Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and you know those are pretty cool what if characters so here we could possibly have you know Super Saiyan Blue you know Gohan or something like that we could have um Super Saiyan 3 Gohan just Things like that would be just amazing to see, and I'd personally love to see, you know, fan fusions like um, the fusion, the Potara fusion between Goku and uh, Gohan, just what if scenarios as well. But these ones extend up to the current arcs that we have right now going on in Super. It's just things like this, these little things that would make a game so much more playable, it would give it so much replayability. And Raging Blast 2 and 1 certainly had replay replayability. Now imagine what that would be with this on the next gen consoles. This project was obviously meant because this uh, project was, I guess, I'm pretty sure this started out in 2012. And it's been three years since then. And obviously we have the Xbox One and PS4 and as well PC. It would be amazing if we could get this on PC if it ever happens. But, you know, they have so much potential now. They can actually manage to do all of this without making the console explode because PS3 could barely handle Xenovers. But I'm pretty sure the next gen consoles and the PC, if it's optimized well, would handle this game really well. And just all of these costumes. Um, there's one thing I wanted to mention for the people that do these kind of role plays on YouTube, I guess, with their own fan characters and, and such. This would, you know, if, if they actually somehow added in character creation to a Raging Blast game, this could, you know, work out really well because you'd have every character you wanted and you could just go so much more in depth with whatever you're actually doing. Now, 
so many costumes for so many characters. There's all versions of Yamcha, all versions of Vegeta, you know, from Dragon Ball Z, from the Saiyan Saga to the end of GT. There's just so much here. I, I can't even, you know, I'm just scrolling through these images right now and, you know, it's just amazing to see. Now, if we got custom characters and such, that would be beautiful in this game because it would expand, you know, it would expand this lore so much more. However, the last post that Trivax made was on November the 12th and it was him updating the roster because he made like a rust of wallpaper and he got a lot of support on there and yeah now do you guys think that this should happen because if you do you know share this video with your friends get this page you know add to your friends as well you know show them this page show them this video why you know Raging Blast 3 should be created because think about it a massive roster this would give you so much, you know, so much to do. Also, we would need a bunch of achievements since I love, you know, hunting for achievements in these games. And, you know, Ultimate Attacks in the original series always looked amazing. So, on top of having every single character that would have their own unique ultimates, it'd be pretty cool if you could have three ultimates each, like they did with Goku, you know, when uh, they gave Goku the Saiyan Saga Spirit Bomb, the you know, the Namek Saga Spirit Bomb, and then the final battle against Kid Buu Spirit Bomb. So, just thing like, things like that, just to add variety, add a bunch of variety, and yeah, I don't know what else to really say about this project. This would be huge if it ever happened, and it would take a long, long time to create. And, you know, if this does come out, like, near the end of, you know, Super, it would be even better. Now hear me out before anyone starts, you know, raging at me. It's mainly because if you want, um, uh, I guess, a completed game, then just wait until the series ends and they can add in all the bits and pieces. Um, unlike with Xenoverse, because we're not going to get Shampoo in Xenoverse, we're not going to get, you know, Vados in Xenoverse, we're not going to get, you know, all the tournament characters either, because I'm pretty sure the DLC for that game is finished. And another downfall to this project as of now is why would you know why would these companies want to make a perfect Dragon Ball game for us because after they get this because after they get this game you know made um how would they get us future games you know because if we already have everything we need in a game why would we want to buy future games I mean obviously to support these people but would there be any other need other than that but, you know, this has just been my thoughts and, you know, trying to get Trivax out there again, just to raise awareness on this project. I do believe that this should happen, just mainly because of all of the things that could possibly be added into this game, and because of the gameplay. The gameplay could be updated. You know, this is combined with the next-gen graphics and the power of the, you know, next-gen consoles. There's just unlimited, you know, possibilities with this. They could go so many ways, and as long as we get, I guess, good DLC, if we even need DLC because of everything that Truax has added in, you know, we could have a perfect Raging Blast style game on our hands. So, yeah, just share this video with your friends, you guys. Um, you know, just comment what you guys think. Do you think this, this should happen? What would you want to see in this game? What kind of scenarios would you want to see? What characters would you want to see? Would you want to have your own, you know, created character? And yeah, my name is Abolt Gaming. Please do leave a like on this video. It would help this video greatly. It would get it out there to more people that need to see this. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Have an epic day.